This is a hellish truck, and it will help us survive 100 days in the zombie apocalypse. It can be improved by finding various upgrades around the world. And for the main upgrade, you need a lot of resources to get the greatest truck in history. New locations, zombies, and mods. Today, we will have to travel thousands of kilometers among hordes of zombies in order to get to the right place and complete these 100 days. In the last episode, we hunted ghosts and explored new locations. Today, everything will be much more hardcore. There will be a lot of surprises and of course moments where I almost lose. With the press of one key, I turned the ghostly truck into a hellish one. And I was a little bit surprised. Yeah... I expected something more. In fact, at that time, I didn't even know that this was just the front part of it. This truck is simply gigantic, but first, we need to collect all its parts. They have already appeared on the map in new locations, and we're just waiting for us to make our way to them through the hordes of zombies. Not much really changes, let me tell you. It's been a long time since there was a survival on a truck. I even managed to kind of miss zombies. Although, no, they still make me mad. On my new truck, I went to the first location. There were a lot of zombies along the way, but I still somehow felt safer behind the wheel. Uh, yeah, guys, I feel like this is the place where we need to go. It was a very secure bandit base, where the most important part of the truck was super well guarded. Okay, guys, I feel like we're gonna have to walk further. I, I wouldn't even say walk, but run. Oh my god, they're shooting at me! I don't even know who's worse, bandits or zombies. Okay, now we're gonna sort everything out here. There were really a lot of bandits at the base, but on the other hand, this is not the first time I survived 100 days. So in the evening, I was able to deal with them quite easily. Minus one, come on, that's the last one, that's it. Oh, that's it, guys. That was pretty tough. And look at how huge the trailer is. This is an entire house on wheels. Maybe we can assemble it. So, well, besides that, I think there's a lot of different chests here. So, let's first loot everything, and then we'll attach it to our truck. There was really a lot of good loot. First aid kits, ammo, and some building blocks. Okay, we got everything set up. Now, let's try to hook it on our trailer, if that's possible. Wait, of course that's possible. Then why would I even need it? Oh, look, there's a button here. Oh, th that's it, guys. Let's go. Our truck or lorry, call it whatever you want want has already acquired at least some kind of solid look. But you have to understand that this is not the complete version of it, because later it's gonna look much cooler, and we have to collect all the parts for it. So look, sitting in the truck there's this menu, and here are the resources that I need to place here to get an upgrade. Yeah, of course, I need a lot of resources here. Another innovation in this video is that some upgrades, for example this one, don't need to be found somewhere in the locations, but they have to be crafted from the resources that I find. It's getting late guys let's try to get our truck into our house this will be pretty difficult okay that was quite hard day 71 today i decided to go to a cave to get some resources and as usual there were a lot of zombies in there oh my god how many of them are there okay guys i think barbed wire will help us okay they're not really slowing down that well stop guys you won't get through how many of these zombies i killed and i still get nervous every time there's more than 10 of them today i managed to excavate three mines another plus is that in these survivals in the mines you can find some loot. So we added a couple of new things, some clothes and all sorts of different industrial mechanisms. Do you know what's strange though? It's day 71 and I remember that on day 70 there was supposed to be a horde of zombies. If anyone doesn't know, in this survival every 10 days I'm attacked by a huge number of zombies. And in this way it's checked whether I can continue to play and survive. But on day 70 there was no horde and that's a little bit strange. I don't think that my team just messed up and made a mistake and blamed it on lag or something. I don't think it's all that simple. And indeed, this was not the case. On day 72, I received a message in chat as soon as I woke up. Attention, zombies are rising from the ground. This triggered the movement of lava and the activation of volcanoes. The fate of your base is unknown. All surrounding areas may be flooded with lava. You need to move in the direction of minus 7,000 by minus 7,000. The flag has been disabled. Now that's a plot twist, guys. This is probably the coolest plot twist that has ever happened in history. History. Okay, it says the flag has been blocked, so I'm gonna take it with me. Oh, okay, done. Let's take all the resources into our new truck and move to the coordinates that were shown to me. Apparently, lava will rise here and we'll no longer be able to return to this location. However, new locations will open up for us, so there is some kind of plus in this. Although, honestly, I was...
was very upset to leave the house that we built throughout three whole episodes. But in my survivals, there is always a plot that makes its own adjustments. On day 73, where there was water, lava had already appeared and it was gradually rising. Okay guys, I moved all the things into our truck. It's good that there are a huge number of cells there, otherwise I don't know what we would do. We won't have time to improve the truck before we leave. We simply don't have that many resources. Okay, that's it. Let's sit down and go. It's gonna be a really long way to go. While I was driving the truck, I could already see lava rising in some places. At the same time, the spawning of fire zombies has already increased. They are, as a rule, two or three times stronger than the zombies that we're used to seeing. And generally six times stronger than the standard zombies that appear in Minecraft. Uh did I just get teleported? When I reached the certain coordinates, a new map was loaded. I don't know how my team technically did it, but I appeared on some new road. And I think this is where the second chapter of my survival begins. There's a lot of zombies in front of us. Let's get them out carefully. Okay. There's a road in front of us. Lava's visible ahead and some messages appeared in the chat. Moving to our new map, all chunks are loaded. Well, as I said guys, everything fits together. Okay, let's take the road. My main task is to get to the necessary coordinates, where as I understood, I could build my new base. On the way, I will encounter different locations. For example, lots of zombies, abandoned houses, and some kind of a really huge robot, and of course, a volcano, as indicated by the lava around it. And the problem is, is that I won't be able to drive everywhere, the road just ends at different places. And plus, the zombies will get in the way. Even though it was difficult to get through, I still somehow got access, looting houses, and even finding pretty cool loot. Hey, zombies, where are you going? Barbed wire, okay, barbed wire, quick! Okay, there's these zombies here, they're constantly spawning. And the ammo, to be honest, I don't have too much of that. And look, there's uh, still a lot of iron here on the surface. I think I'll collect it while I have time for this. Because if you remember to improve the truck, we need a lot of iron there. While I was mining iron, it was already evening. It was unsafe to travel at night because there's lots of zombies. So I decided to wait out the night in one of the ruins. Well, guys, I can't say this house is brand new, but on the other hand, I don't really have any options. Let's just close all the windows, be sure to have an entrance, and I think it's best to live on the second floor. The likelihood that zombies will get here is very small, unless there's some kind of flying ones. In the morning, I was doubting that I chose the best place to spend the night because there were just so many zombies all around, and I wasn't sure what I should do with them. Okay guys, the truck is parked over there. I don't know why I didn't put it close to the house. I won't be able to jump off and just sit in it, so I'm gonna have to run a little bit. And there's just so many zombies down there. Well, do we have any options? Let's just go, go, go! Okay guys, let's go! Come on, hurry up quickly! Let's go! Oh, oh my god! Okay guys, that's it, I just need to leave. The road was long. Over the next few days, I had to travel to completely different locations. On the way, there were deserts, swamps, and even snow biomes. I would have definitely gotten lost if the abandoned road didn't accompany me through the entire journey. Yeah, look, there's a branching here, and given that we know the coordinates in which direction we need to go, I think it's pretty clear which road we're gonna choose. Although I would want to see what's on the other side there, but we don't really have the time for that, so let's keep going. After so many days, I finally found a really interesting location. It was a jungle, and there was a lot of interesting things in it. Okay, okay, yeah, I see a jungle, guys, I'm not blind. I also see a few zombies, even in some new kinds, I think. Look, of course, we can drive through here like the previous locations and just not loot anything, but firstly, I'm already running out of ammo, and as I said, I also wonder what could be in this jungle. So, let's try to loot this location a bit better. So, guys, I noticed there's some kind of ravine here, and to be honest, it's a little scary to be here because the zombies can run at me at any moment, but I'm pretty used to it. So, I think we're gonna go down there, and it won't be so easy. Oh, guys, there's so many zombies! Zombies here! Oh, come on! Get away from me! Okay, 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 guys! If I hadn't climbed onto this pole now, I think I would have been killed. Who would have known that the jungle is also full of zombies? I was about to get up because I simply didn't have the resources to deal with these zombies. But out the corner of my eye, I noticed the chest. And I thought that in such a location, there definitely has to be some really cool loot. Now, let's try to get to this chest. Oh my god, guys, I'm so glad I bridged to it. So, let's take all the things and go up. It was already evening and the day was coming to an end. We traveled almost half the way and the assumption was that after the jungle, we would reach a point where we would make our new home. Towards evening, turning off the road, I saw some ruins. There were a few zombies there and most importantly here, we could make our first temporary camp. 
I organized a small fire for myself for the atmosphere, covered everything with barbed wire, and will be here in the middle of this jungle waiting for the morning. In fact, if I think about how much there was in this survival, I don't even know what else may await us ahead. In any case, one thing is clear, we have a chance of survival, although everything can change at any moment. Those locations that I already passed through were completely filled with lava. We were already at height 156, and the next day I saw these ruins, and as it turns out, there was a deep underground entrance, and the location was simply huge. The previous episode was of course quite scary, I don't think there will be any jump scares this time. Oh wow guys, these ruins are way bigger than I thought. And there's also a huge number of zombies below. This time I don't really want to go down there with a water bucket clutch, so we'll just make a neat ladder. I'm very happy that I didn't drop down. In general, when you play 100 days on hardcore, you need to be especially careful. Below there were a lot of zombies and at the same time huge catacombs. Gradually building up, I studied tunnel after tunnel found many boxes and a lot of useful loot. I wouldn't even believe that such a small entrance on the surface could hide such a huge dungeon underground. To be honest, I got carried away and it took me two and a half days to explore this dungeon. Along the way, of course, I checked where the lava was because this survival could end at any second. Guys, I found a lot of stuff. I think I can keep going. In the next few days of traveling through the jungle, I also saw a few zombies, some new species and ruins, in which I also collected loot and some of them even had traps. Yeah guys, being careful here won't hurt. On the next day, a message appeared in chat. If you're able to get to the desired coordinates, then quickly build a base and plant a flag. Because if you don't plant a flag before day 90, then survival will end. Oh wow, okay, we need to hurry up. Moving further, I found some kind of fisherman's village. There were simply too many zombies there. Well, come on, at least we need to find some fishing rods here, I don't know. Catch fish big and small. Okay, this is a bit too boring. In addition to the village, there was a stunning waterfall. It offered a simply fantastic view. But there was no time to hesitate, so I decided to keep going. The very next day, I was approaching those same coordinates. I'm on the bridge now, and there are some pros and cons. Cons, I can't get across. Pros, these zombies can't reach me. Well, what are you gonna do for me? You don't have wings. Okay, let's just fix the bridge ourselves carefully. Come on. Uh, okay, that's it. We're building. We're building. Well, as they say, if you need a bridge built, call me. I see some two towers. Oh, wait, what is this? Uh, stop, stop, wait. Oh my god, guys, they're chasing me. Having dealt with the bandits, I looted these two towers, cleared the path, and began to keep going. I wanted to find some place for my home. Finally, we got to a new location called Hailing Fields. As you can see, everything around was green. It is in this location that we have to build our new home, as well as explore it to understand how we can beat the zombie apocalypse. This location has a huge number of buildings that we can explore in search of the information we need, many secrets and of course resources to improve our truck. But first we had to at least build a house. Guys, I took a huge amount of resources with me, they're all in our truck. Let's quickly make the frame for our house, put up a flag, and finally upgrade our truck because I'm really excited to see the next upgrade we get. Okay guys, it's already getting dark, so this is the kind of house that we have. Of course, we'll try to make it super cool because, you know, it'll soon be day 90, and most likely given that I set the flag, a huge horde of zombies will attack me on that day. I'm setting myself two goals now. The first is to properly protect my base, especially the flag. Well, and the second goal is to upgrade my truck. And to upgrade, you need a lot of resources. 24 blocks of iron, 64 concrete, a high voltage transformer, 16 aluminum wires and liquid 20 liquid pipes! I'm not sure I'll manage to do this before day 90, but maybe this will give me some kind of advantage, because I don't know how I can survive against these zombies. There was no notification in the chat, but you know that every 10 days we're attacked by a horde of zombies, namely the flag that I place at my base. Guys, it's day 86, and zombies as you can see, there's quite a lot of zombies all around. However, I'm gonna go explore local locations. First of all, I wanna find a couple of caves and understand where I can get some iron, because 3 stacks of iron is a very impressive amount, I'm telling you. It's good that there was a lot of caves in this biome. The first part of the day I was extracting resources, and in the second I decided to walk around a little more. And you won't believe what I found. It was an abandoned, overgrown city. Do you see what I see? I mean, of course, yeah, it's a city, an abandoned city. On the one hand, going there is quite dangerous, because I can already imagine how many different mobs there are. But on the other hand, what else can we do? We need to somehow upgrade the truck. Oh, 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 come on, stop! 
so barbed wire come on <gasps> okay i'm in the house that's it Let, let's close this whole thing okay so what do we have here in the box okay aluminium wires apples gold and some garbage okay i think since we're in this building uh, we should try and search it and we'll explore other buildings step by step although the city was small it was quite atmospheric my team is already trying to design locations very coolly from abandoned parked cars to vegetation on buildings okay guys i'm standing on the roof right now and i know that we found quite a lot of cool things here but yeah there's still something to see here but i think that now we'll return home because it's already evening and we just need to do the basics for the next few days i think that no matter how much we want it we won't be able to simply improve the truck in any way before day 90. day 87 in the morning a message appeared in chat saying that the lava has risen to the required level and i managed to survive i was pretty happy about this however i wasn't sure that we would be able to survive until day 100 i found myself in a new location i just needed to somehow quickly build a house i was very nervous because if i don't have the time to make a sufficient defense you know what will happen okay guys the house is starting to take shape i think that we'll have time to at least do something here on day 87 and day 88 i continue to improve the house and to be honest it worked out quite well i don't know maybe we have a chance here if we try really hard then maybe we can survive day 89 everything was ready for the zombie attack i decided to take a little ride in the truck to see what other locations were around me wait what is this okay wait come on slow down what kind of tent is this with some kind of dude igor is an editor what so my team put an editor inside my video in all seriousness but i mean i don't mind so he sells us a lot of resources there's even resources that i needed to improve the truck and he sells all of this for gold okay so let's remember that he's here and next time we're gonna bring the gold also in the evening i found a couple more houses which i looted and began to return home day 90 has arrived the whole sky was covered with fog as usual that same day the second to last wave of zombies was coming okay guys they're already here they're already here they're coming okay let's go come on i made several levels of walls especially for them and as you can see they're simply demolishing everything in their path okay guys the most important thing just the most important thing is to protect the flag there's even new species attacking oh my god defending from the zombies was difficult everything around was simply getting destroyed half hp guys half hp first aid kit first aid kit come on first aid kit you won't believe it but i actually managed to survive this wave it was very difficult to do day 91 and just look around me. This is completely insane. I don't know how I did it, but in any case, we survived. And maybe we can live to see day 100. Now the main goal was to improve the truck, and I threw all my energy into finding resources. Okay, there's some kind of factory ahead of us. Let's try to explore it. It looks, of course, really huge. At least there's no zombies in this location. I'm just so happy about it. Look, there's pipes hanging here, and maybe... Wait, maybe that's what we need. Yes, liquid pipes! Great! Now we'll get them here and soon we'll be able to upgrade our truck. I spent the whole day collecting pipes and other loot at this beautiful factory. And I even found a note. The zombie apocalypse changed everything. The plan no longer works. People have left for safer areas. But they don't exist. Zombies are already everywhere. But we can handle it. A team of carpenters will try to create their own so-called safe zone. I'm not sure that we can do this. Yeah guys, to be honest, this is what the zombie apocalypse is like. All we have to do is improve our truck obviously these zombies are absolutely clear to us so all we can do is upgrade our truck let's look for more resources i mean well it's a bit sad of course there are actually a lot of boxes here guys i'm super happy that there's no monsters here i can just walk around calmly so some gears a cannon and another note in fact the factory was engaged in the creation of uh, huggy wuggy toys and toilet paper w where's the connection between that i honestly have no clue but to be honest the first outbreak of the zombie apocalypse came from here what even is that these are some kind of anecdotes from my team how what huggy wuggy which which, which what this is crazy. Day 92. In order to improve the truck, all we had to do was to find concrete. I had some, but it wasn't enough, so I had to do a bit of local scavenging. Okay, zombies, let's move. Here I am again on this pillar, and I'm trying... Um trying just leave me alone and finally on day 92 i was able to upgrade the truck and this is what it looks like oh my god new rooms appeared as well as guns in fact my huge mistake was that i didn't know you could go inside this truck like the very first truck that was in the survival in addition new storage rooms have appeared and the storage facilities were equal to 64 large minecraft chests guys i 
I'm just sorry. From the very beginning, I could go inside the truck. Let me show you what it looks like now. Look, we're inside. I don't think that we're physically inside, rather technically we're teleported somewhere. And this is probably supposed to be a room inside our truck. And as you understand, everything is empty, because it was uh, generally assumed that I would arrange everything inside. And the second floor, guys, there's simply so much space here, and we can take it all with us. Oh my god, in addition to the storage, we can basically make everything here turn into chests. This turned out to be the most huge, legendary, and epic truck of all the trucks in this survival. And let me remind you that during the entire survival, there were as many as four of them. Day 93. In the morning, I took the gold and went to Igor the editor. Let's buy first aid kits, barbed wire for sure, an upgrade for an upgrade for the machine gun, and of course, ammo. Thank you, Igor. Well done. So guys, I think that we need to continue to explore the entire map that's here. Because we're generally interested in what surrounds us. So today, we're gonna go along this road. There was a huge amount of everything in this survival. I know I say this every time, but this is truly one of my favorite favorite survival games. Though there isn't much time left until the finale, I of course wanted to explore the entire map to the maximum. So guys, what do we have here? Some kind of bulldozer or what is it? Installation and canopy. Great, let's see, apart from the fact that there's lots of zombies around here. Having dealt with all the zombies, first of all, I found a very interesting item. Counter of destroyed zombies. Oh, wait, this is- oh my god, guys! After I took this item, I saw a counter on the screen showing how many zombies I killed during my entire survival. 3,875! I thought it was actually more. Wait, now, oh, it turns out that when we kill zombies, the counter is updated. So, what do we have here? Yeah, a few zombies downstairs, understandable. Oh, guys, we have diamonds there! Okay, let's go down, let's go! Oh, wow, there's so many of them here! So, give me- Ah! What is that? This thing just attacked me! Oh my god! Even the diamonds didn't drop, but for some reason some shards did. I don't know what to do with them, I'm only interested in diamonds. I tried to extract as many of these shards as possible from all these deceptive ores, and as a result only one diamond is made from nine of these shards. When I'm home, I'll rename it on the anvil as the most valuable diamond in this survival. It seems like everything is here and it's already evening, so let's go home. On day 94, I decided to make a normal fence for the base. Guys, you understand that on day 100, we'll most likely have a final horde of zombies. I'll try to improve this as much better now. Much better to improve. Uh, yeah, of course. That's why I'll do this right now. In my opinion, it turned out quite secure. Day 95. Today, I was going to make a farm. This is an integral part of any zombie apocalypse survival base. Carrots, potatoes, I mean, you have to eat something, right? I think I'll make a farm here. It seems like a pretty good place to me. And we'll make several tiers. In general, I'll try to come up with something original, but to be honest, I can't promise that. I just love building in Minecraft, probably the same as surviving, so I try to design something creative. I think it turned out pretty cool. Day 96, good morning friends. As you can see, there's lots of zombies around who want to destroy me and my flag. But as you understand, they won't succeed. By the way, the flag with my face on it is under our guard. No one will approach it, absolutely not. Today, I'm going to go explore one location that I saw at the corner of my eye, but we never got to it. Leave me alone, you're stopping me from filming the video. Okay, that's it, let's carefully hit the road. As you understand, in such terrain, such a huge truck is simply very difficult to drive. We're actually flying, kinda. Guys, I think my truck is sick, it's... we're flying, what's happening? And guys, I think it needs help. Where's my wrench? After moving the truck, a couple of minutes later, I was already in place. Despite the fact that it is indeed very difficult to move a truck in this area, it is still much safer than without it. We're here, guys. There's a fence over there through which you can go to this location. I hope there won't be many zombies there because I would like to loot everything quietly. The location was a small scientific research center, and of course, there were a lot of zombies there. As with every location I've survived, you never know what to expect. Okay, it's clear that there's still zombies here, and even very tough ones. Okay, guys, these are really tanky zombies. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Wait, these guys are so tanky. Let's hide behind the trash can. Of course, the stress was growing on me because there were only four days left until the end of survival, and I didn't want to lose right at the very end, so I was very scared for all the progress that we've made. This is just insane, guys. I had half HP. Half HP. And why? 
because these zombies don't live their own lives. Where are they all coming from? This is insane. If this doesn't work, let's just run. Okay, 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 that's it. So the main thing is that they don't get in here. Okay, just survive. We have to just survive, guys. Just survive. I have no ammo. I only have the last clip. Last zombie left, guys. I only have two bullets left. Now there's no ammo at all. I should have taken more. I don't know why it took so little. Let's try to finish it off with an axe very carefully. <sighs> the last location has been officially cleared of zombies. It was already evening and as you know, at night there are a lot of zombies. So I had to quickly explore this location and go back home. Like, which card do you like the best? Red is the color of confidence. But a bike is not bad either. Wait, what am I doing? Let's go look for resources. Day 97. Today I decided to go on a little trip to get some obsidian. The final horde of zombies is planned for for day 100. I think we can protect the flag even better by covering it with obsidian. Zombies will take longer to break blocks, which means I'll have a better chance of survival. The first lake in this series that I found didn't take long to find. Plus, I think that this much obsidian is definitely enough for me. So for the first part of the day, I confidently mined it and took a very long time. It's pretty strange that I didn't take the obsidian with me from my previous base, but relatively speaking, it's okay because we already have it anyway. I just hope it's going to be enough for me. Here here, there's no block here, so we can easily place obsidian like this. The most important thing is to protect the pole. If they break it, that's it. Wait, I'm one obsidian short! No! Maybe today I'll still have time to get it. And it's good that I made it, because on day 98, I had a completely different plan. Day 98, today I found another location. Probably the last one before the horde of zombies comes. Oh, it turns out, guys, there was another location here. Look, it's super close to the city that we recently found. That's where my truck is, and today I decided to go on foot. I already see these zombies in spacesuits. Guys, as you understand, there's still a couple of days left before survival is completely done. So while we have time, let's try to at least prevent us from having half HP, especially considering the monsters that are here. So these zombies are creeping up on me little by little, but at least we're still repelling them. There's a box here, let's try to loot it carefully. Oh wow, what a rifle! Oh my god, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Wait, wow, oh my god. Guys, I think I know what will get us through these 100 days 100%. Because we just have a, like, a machine gun now. So I need to be more careful when talking like this, otherwise... Look, the zombies are already here. They're coming from everywhere. Guys, there's actually a lot of them here. I want to loot this entire location. Okay, stop, zombies. They're sneaking here. I don't think their reload will be too fast. Well, well, guys, guys, let's go. Oh, wow. This machine gun is just simply awesome. Let's now carefully loot all these hangars and return home. Day 99. Today, I decided to strengthen my base as much as possible in order to pass this survival 100%. It was an amazing amazing adventure where we got to ride four different trucks that were created exclusively and specifically for this series of videos. Day 100, the final horde of zombies. You've never seen that many zombies in your entire life. Oh, oh guys, oh my god, wow, okay, 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 there's a lot of flying zombies. They're about to break through here. This is insane, guys. How many zombies are attacking me right now? Okay, guys, the most important thing is... The most important thing is to protect our flag. Everything else simply doesn't matter. But guys, the fast, the golden apple. Oh, no, guys, the, the obsidian is already broken. The obsidian already broke. The zombies are trying to break the flag. No, wait, I'm lagging so much. I can already guess how many zombies there's down there. There's so many zombies. Right now, guys, all we're trying to do is to survive. Do you think I managed to survive? Yes, the flag was there. It was a great story of 100 days of survival on a huge number of trucks in a zombie apocalypse. If you liked it, be sure to like the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That is all guys, all links are in the description. Bye bye.